Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm John R. and I'm your instructor. In a previous video, I showed you how to set up a pickle pot for cleaning your jewelry projects. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to properly dispose of the spent pickle so that you can create a new batch. Now, before you begin, be sure that you're prepared to be working safely with this material. I suggest you put on an apron and to prevent any splashes that might happen from getting in your eyes, put on a pair of safety glasses. Now, before you follow these instructions to dispose of your pickle, be sure you check your local municipal ordinances for the proper techniques for disposal of hazardous waste. This should satisfy them, but double check. Okay, I've already put my pickle into a bucket and I'm going to be using household baking soda and clay kitty litter with this. Now, you want the clay kitty litter, not the clumping kind because it won't work. Now, the first thing that you want to do is carefully add your baking soda to the used pickle solution. It's going to foam up, so be careful. So you just add about a pound of baking soda and it will sizzle and foam up and then it will drop down. Okay, that means that the pH is pretty much balanced at this point and it's neutralized. The next thing I want to do is I want to add the dry cat litter. Now don't make a big splash. Now you want to work the cat litter into the, the liquid so that the cat litter gets completely saturated. Now you may need to leave this sitting in a corner of your lab for about a week or so until the cat litter completely dries out and all the moisture is evaporated. But once that's done, you can add this to your regular trash and send it off to the landfill. I hope that you work carefully within your studio and you stay safe. Check out our other videos and products on the onlinejewelryacademy.com. Thanks for watching.